I've had this in my DMs for like the past 12 hours. I've probably had 30 people tell me, hey, you got to talk about this on the podcast. So uh, I think it's time to address it. Uh, Nick, I'm going to toss it to you. What's, what we got? One news and notes today. One news and notes, and it's a pretty interesting quote from a former quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kenny Pickett, when asked about being on the Philadelphia Eagles after his first week of OTAs, he said, quote, I couldn't ask for a better room. Better staff to be working with. Obviously, the talent around this team is pretty special. So it's a great group to be in. A lot of people are taking that as a shot to the Steelers. Do you take it in the same light? No, I I don't. I don't. I think a lot of people... Look, I get it. I get that. I get it. Like, I get that people don't like Kenny Pickett, that, you know, anything he says is going to be a little bit of a, eh, you know, that rubbed me the wrong way. I understand it. Like, you leave the Pittsburgh Steelers the way Kenny Pickett left the Pittsburgh Steelers, you're going to look at it and say, I'm not the biggest fan of you. And I totally understand that. That answer would have came out word for word of Kenny Pickett's mouth if he was in Pittsburgh, if he was in Cleveland, if he was in Baltimore, if he was at Pitt, if he was in the CFL, it doesn't matter. It would have been the same exact answer. That is who he is. Every week we talk to the quarterback in Pittsburgh, every single week, it's a Wednesday. And every single week, I would not go talk to Kenny Pickett. You want to know why? Because I would make the joke every single week that I could probably just take his quotes from last week and make it the same story this week because that's what he does. He just says the same things all the time. I don't think it's a shot. At the same time, if it was a shot, it's hard to deny it, man. Like you could look at the Philadelphia Eagles offense and it's pretty damn impressive. Like you, it's really hard to look at this and say, yeah, you got Jalen Hurts. That's pretty good. You got Kellen Moore. That's pretty good offensive coordinator. Saquon Barkley's not a bad running back. AJ Brown and Devontae Parker or Devontae Smith. Not bad. Uh, not bad wide receivers in Dallas Gobert as a tight end. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So I think that uh, my answer is no. If it was a shot at the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think the best way to go about it as the fan base is to not let this guy live in your head rent free is to just, you know, let that's I tell people that all the time. Like if you looked at my DMs every single day, it is very aggressive. It's it's a tough place to be. My fiance looks at it every once in a while, she gets like angry. She's like, "Well, this is this is ridiculous." I'm like, "Dude, the best way to avoid this is to just let them let them you take up space in their mind. You know, they don't take up space in your mind. That's how you go about it. I think that's how uh we should handle Kenny Pickett and how the fan base should handle Kenny Pickett. Let him live his life, man. In, in a year, if he's not a starting quarterback, people will forget that Kenny Pickett is in the NFL. I'm going to tell you that. So I, I don't think it was a shot. I, I wish Kenny nothing but the best uh, for anybody who took it as a shot. It's OK. He's going to be OK. And I, I'd be very impressed. I think a backup quarterback in Justin Fields is much more impressive than a backup quarterback, in Kenny Pickett. So uh, I think that's where I stand.